While there's no specific height requirement for being an actor, the way that stars are commonly presented on screen would make you believe many of them are quite tall. Today, the average American male height is 5 foot 9, but back during the days of the golden age of Hollywood, people were on average much shorter. In fact, over the last 150 years, it's been said the average height of people has increased by about 4 inches. The fact that the average height of leading men in Hollywood is shorter than average proves that one's height isn't necessarily a barrier for entry when it comes to finding success in the film industry. Keep watching to learn about the shortest actors of the golden age of Hollywood. Humphrey Bogart, 5 foot 8 inches. Bogart is actually one of the tallest actors we'll feature in this video. At 5'8", he was just one inch shorter than average. Even so, Bogart was quite concerned that moviegoers would notice how much shorter he was than his co-star in Casablanca, Ingrid Bergman. As such, she was instructed to slouch while sitting on the sofa in several scenes while Bogart was propped up on a couple extra cushions so they'd appear more level. Alan Ladd, 5 feet 6 inches. Ladd was one of the most prominent film noir stars of the 1940s. It's been reported he would stand on boxes while on set, so he'd appear as tall or taller than his female co-stars. Ladd wasn't incredibly short by any means, but he was very image conscious and wanted to project a strong sense of masculinity. A few other tricks of the trade back in the old days of Hollywood included having women wear ballet flats to lower their height or have them stand in trenches for the same effect. Peter Falk, 5'6". Peter Falk was best known for his role as Lieutenant Columbo in the long-running and critically acclaimed series Columbo. While Falk's height never seemed to get in the way of his acting, a 1981 news article mentioned that his diminutive stature is what attracted his second wife, Shara Denise, to him. In that article, Shara was quoted as saying she always preferred dating shorter men since they tended to be nicer. Aside from his TV career, Falk also appeared in films such as It's a Mad, 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 Mad World, The Princess Bride, The Great Race, and Next. He sadly died of pneumonia on June 23, 2011 at his home on Roxbury Drive in Beverly Hills at age 83. Burgess Meredith, 5 feet 6 inches Born Oliver Burgess Meredith in 1907, this actor and filmmaker was active for more than six decades. He's been called a virtuoso as well as one of the most accomplished actors of the 20th century. Meredith established himself as a leading man during the golden age of Hollywood, appearing in films like Romagna in Winterset, Of Mice and Men, and G.I. Joe. Later on, he was known for his appearances on The Twilight Zone and Batman. The latter saw him playing The Penguin. He also appeared in films such as The Day of the Locust and Rocky. Both films earned him Academy Award nominations for Best Supporting Actors. He followed those roles up with performances in Foul Play and Clash of the Titans. At 5'6", Burgess was shorter than many of his contemporaries, but his height never seemed to get in the way of his work. Audie Murphy, 5'5". Who says you have to be tall to be a hero? Audie Murphy was the most decorated soldier in American history. In fact, to date, no other soldier has earned every single award for valor like he did. During his time serving as a lieutenant in the Army, Murphy earned the Medal of Honor, two Silver Stars, and an additional three Bronze Stars. During the Second World War, Murphy mowed down Nazis, jumped on top of a burning tank, outshot snipers, and single-handedly took out German armor. After the war, he was offered a chance to attend West Point, but he decided to pursue acting instead. After studying Shakespeare and doing stock theater, he landed his first major role in the film The Kid from Texas, where he played Billy the Kid. He then appeared in a film called To Hell and Back, which was based on a semi-autobiographical novel he wrote with one of his old army buddies. In the 1960s, he hit rock bottom when he became addicted to the prescription medication Placidil. Fortunately, he was able to kick the habit by barricading himself in a motel room until he made it through withdrawal. After that, he became very reclusive and attempted to take his own life on several occasions. To make matters worse, he lost most of his money to bad investments and gambling. Throughout all of this hardship, Murphy was offered opportunities to appear in ads for cigarettes and booze, but he turned them down because he didn't want to set a bad example for the many children that looked up to him as a hero. Tragically, he died in a small plane crash that went down 20 miles of Roanoke, Virginia on May 28, 1971. James Cagney, 5'5". Five five. James Cagney was an actor, dancer, and film director known for energetic performances, distinct voice, and deadpan comedic timing. 
He's perhaps best remembered for playing multifaceted tough guys in movies such as The Public Enemy, Taxi, and White Heat. While he found himself typecast by his earlier roles, he was eventually able to negotiate dancing opportunities into his movies. This culminated in him winning an Academy Award for his unforgettable role in the 1942 musical Yankee Doodle Dandy. He's typically included in lists of the best actors of Hollywood's golden age, and Orson Welles once described him as being perhaps the greatest actor who ever appeared in front of a camera. Charlie Chaplin, 5'5". Born Sir Charles Spencer Chaplin Jr. in 1889, Charlie was an English actor, comic, filmmaker, and composer who experienced a meteoric rise to fame during the silent film era. With his screen persona, The Tramp, Chaplin became a world-famous icon of cinema. After co-founding United Artists, Chaplin produced films like The Kid, The Gold Rush, and The Circus. After initially refusing to work with sound in films, Charlie gave in and produced his first talkie, The Great Dictator, in 1940. He was then accused of having communist sympathies and investigated by the FBI. This forced Chaplin to leave the U.S., where he settled in Switzerland. During the later years of his film career, he abandoned the Tramp character and made movies like Monsieur Verdu, A King in New York, and A Countess from Hong Kong. At 88, he died the day after Christmas in 1977. Mo Howard, 5'3". As the leader of the Three Stooges, Howard was also the shortest. He was 5'3 and a half inches tall, while Larry Besser and Joe Dorita were both 5'4". Joe Besser was 5'5", while Moe's brother Shep Howard was 5'7". Moe Howard led the Stooges in motion pictures and television specials for five decades. He was known for his distinct bowl-cut hairstyle and slapstick humor. Mickey Rooney, 5'2". Rooney is remembered for being one of the most enduring and talented actors of all time. He had a wide versatility of range. He could be serious or funny, sing and dance, and thrived both in Hollywood and Broadway. He got his start in vaudeville and on the radio, but went on to appear in more than 300 films over the course of his nine-decade spanning career. While he was one of the most celebrated actors of his time, his off-camera behavior was wildly self-destructive, and he spent most of his 93 years on this planet in misery. He was married eight times, but each time it ended in divorce or separation. He was also known for being a ladies' man who often engaged in affairs, and for many years he was addicted to prescription meds. In the late 90s, he was arrested on suspicion of beating his wife, but the charges were dropped due to a lack of evidence. In 2011, he filed a restraining order against his stepson and his wife. He claimed he was the victim of elder abuse and even appeared before the U.S. Senate to testify about the abuse before a committee that was considering legislation to curb the problem. While he was quite short, it seemed like his height was the least of his worries. Rooney died at age 93 in April of 2014. Now it's time to hear from you. Which one of these short actors was most surprising to hear about? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.